So uh, there is something that uh, I would like to talk um, uh, about uh, during the process of making the film with the Thai people. Um, uh, so when people, when the participant, the group, the community, uh, uh, watch the two-hour footage, uh, there is a, uh, it's like a, a discuss uh, about uh, the traditional way of making the films. Uh, and the new way of making films. Um, because there are some participants who want to make the film in the traditional way with the narratives, with direct directors uh, of the film. Uh, but um, other participants will like that. Uh, this new way of making film will give them the chance to um, share their uh, authentic stories. Um, and they re really like and really enjoy this um, uh, way of of making film. Uh, however, because there are some people who have the different uh, opinion, so they also have to negotiate with, with each other um, um, about the choice between these two ways of, of uh, uh, making film. And in this discussion, um, researchers and the core, the, the core participants also play a very important role in uh, facilitating the group. Um, and to um, explain explain to uh, uh, some participants about the uh, advantages of uh, um, the new uh, way uh, of making film that they are working on. Um, uh, so, uh, and the second thing is a feeling of being discriminated when uh, they first migrated to Hanoi in the 1970s. Um, this theme um, is not include in, in the seed ideas that the uh, core participant brought to the communities. Um, um, because the, the, core, the, the seed idea um, that they brought to just uh, about how they can maintain their cultural tradition uh, when they live in Hanoi. Uh, however, uh, some of the participants had the feeling of being discriminated. Uh, for example, they said that uh, um, the Hano people just uh, always think that they are backward people because they are minorities. Uh, and because of that, uh, they cannot do well, they cannot st study well in the class um, in comparison to other king you know, students or other king people. Um, so um, um, they, um, not all the participants uh, have this feeling, but um, they think that this is a chance for them to, to talk about it because um, in the daily life or in any other activity, they, they don't have this chance uh, to talk about this feeling. Uh, and uh, they also realize that uh, the video will, will be a political, um, it's a kind of political tool. So um, they decided that uh, they still want to talk about um, uh, this feeling, but they touch it softly uh, in order to not to offending other ethnic um, peoples. Um, and this is also a very important theme that uh, arises from uh, the discussions uh, because um, um, the, um, the VME researchers also had a chance to, uh, to travel to the USA and uh, he also visited the uh, relatives of the group of the participants of the, this group in, in USA. And when he did the interview, the, the children uh, couldn't speak Thai and they just, they just look at, at their parents and, and, and smile because they didn't understand. Um, and even though in some uh, families of, uh, of Thai people in Hanoi now, uh, the children uh, rarely speak Thai and, and, and it seems that they, they don't want to, to um, they don't have a chance to, to, to talk, uh, to speak Thai in the daily life. So uh, usually they speak Vietnamese. This is really a worry for of the, all the participants in the group communities um, because if um, they don't teach Thai uh, in the families, then the next, maybe the third generation, there is no Thai children can speak Thai. Uh, and even though when, 
when the re when the core team go back to uh, the homeland of, of uh, these particip participants, uh, they also find that the uh, children um, in the mountainous areas, some of them cannot uh, understand the whole Thai language uh, because when they go to school, they uh, they have to study in in Vietnamese. Um, so this is also an important uh, theme that they want to to talk in in the films. So now I move to the second films uh, um, named Tham Ve Village Nhảy Boy Festival. Uh, the film was taken in uh, Tham Ve Village, Cao Bo Khamun, uh, Vị Xuyên District, Hà Giang Province, uh, which is a province in the north of Vietnam. And this is, this is a mountainous um, a province um, with a very like uh, rough um, geography. Uh, and this uh, core team uh, include two uh, members. One is a VME uh, researcher, and the other is a, a Jiao man. Uh, and, 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 and this man, um, he can speak uh, Vietnamese, um, which is um, quite convenient for the VME researchers in communication. Uh, and this one, he also um, very experienced in uh, the Jiao tradition. So that's why he selected to be uh, the core participant. And uh, they also together choose a, a group of community of 10 Jiao men um, to work in the, the, um, the project. Um, so the idea, the seed idea that uh, the core uh, team uh, brought to uh, the community is uh, a Jiao initiation ritual and Nhảy Boy festival. And they, they think that they, when they discuss with the community, they win, uh, they can choose um, the final theme for for the uh, for the video. Uh, so in the discussion, uh, the Jiao people uh, realized that the Jiao initiation ritual uh, was filmed for several times, and. Uh, uh, when people watch the film, they uh, realize that this is a Zhao, um, uh, the identity of Zhao people, and and it is uh, known uh, very broadly in the public. Uh, however, uh, they 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 see that um, the Nhảy Boy Festival uh, is um, 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 Rarely known by 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 the people of the outside uh, communities, and also for the um, local authority, um, there are times that they uh, for, for forbid forbid the community to practice this uh, festival because they think that this is a, a superstitious uh, practice. Um, so um, uh, when the project uh, is was done in this uh, location. They, they 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 thought that this is uh, a true opportunity for them to talk about this festival, uh, so that they can um, uh, give uh, uh, the, the 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 video for the next generation to understand about um, their traditions and also uh, to help them to talk with um, the other people that this is not a superstitious practice. It is uh, also a, an identity of Jia people. Uh, so in the end, they decided to choose Nhe Boy Festival as the uh, content for the, for the films. Uh, so um, this team, they also uh, had the three states uh, of uh, working with the community. Um, they first they, they they go to community to have a big meeting to discuss about the seed ideas, and then the second step is that uh, to uh, choose the footages from uh, from the tapes uh, and organize into the two hour footages and bring to the communities, uh, and then the the third uh, stage is to show the draft uh, video to the community to get uh, feedback, uh, and. Within the, f the 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 process of making this film, there are some um, something that I would like to talk here is that uh, the um, when the when the film and the footage were screened uh, in the communities, uh, there is not only uh, the group of ten uh, participants watch the film, uh, but um, 
many other villagers also come to see the film and they also uh, contribute very uh, actively um, in the film. Uh, what footage uh, uh, we should keep or what footage we should um, cut off uh, and also the active discussions also uh, brought the villagers back to the sharing about uh, the original names of Tamve village and this discussion uh, truly inspire all the people uh, because they are uh, aware of a strong connection, the connection that they have uh, through the history of, of the village. And uh, from, this, uh, from this point, the uh, community unity is intensified. Uh, and also, uh, there's a very um, uh, important uh, contribution from the uh, community participant because they, um, they, they want to add a short clip of uh, each interviewees uh, and showing his or her daily activities. Uh, before uh, he or her first appearance in the video. Uh, for example, if uh, um, a shaman appears, then before the experience of this shaman, uh, they, they think that maybe uh, we should uh, add uh, short clips about um, uh, the work that they, they do in the Sweden or um, maybe um, some work that they done within the house or in the garden or with the animal, something like that. Um, so I will go back to, to, to this point later. Um, so um, uh, I also would like to talk that um, I'm not the one who participate in these projects, but based on uh, the process of uh, uh, making exhibition and, and the videos, uh, and based on what I uh, gained from the field school, uh, then I, 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 I draw some lessons from, from, from those uh, examples. Uh, so now I talk about the advantages of uh, intangible cultural heritage safeguarding projects. Uh, there are many advantages, but uh, um, I find that the bottom-up approach is a very uh, important because uh, in the traditional way of working with the communities, uh, we usually see the image of a researcher holding paper, note paper and pens and just come to the community and um, uh, ask questions. And even though uh, later on uh, they participate fully in, in many activities and even though they can speak uh, the local language, but the story that they, they, they tell is still the story of the third person. Um, um, but here, um, in this uh, way of approaching uh, with the communities, the story that were told uh, was uh, first voice stories, uh, and, uh, and the story is very honest, uh, authentic, and, and more convincing to the public. Uh, and also, uh, the bottom-up approach uh, uh, doesn't impose the idea of uh, research on the communities, and it allows the members of the community to discover by themselves uh, the intangible cultural values within the community. Uh, so here is a two uh, examples, two quotes from, 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 the, from, from the people uh, about this one. Now I move to another advantage. It's a positive impact on the communities. Uh, uh, first, uh, it has the community more confident and active during the whole process. Uh, and they also have a, a chance to, to make a decision by themselves. So the power of, of making decisions by themselves makes them proud of uh, their cultural values. Um, and uh, the other uh, positive impact is that they, the, the, those kind of projects have to enhance the people's awareness of their responsibility toward their intangible cultural heritage. Uh, and it also uh, intensifies the community unity. Um, so I, I go back a little bit for here about uh, the imposing idea on community because uh, uh, when I talked before, the participants of the Jiao people, they, uh, they want to add a short clip uh, of the daily life activity of the interviewee 
uh, before the appearance of, uh, of that interview in the video. Uh, and when uh, the core team of, of uh, the core participant of this team uh, does that, um, uh, another like filmmaker, he said that this is a very, very odd way of, of edit a film. We never do that uh, in the film. However, because this is also the wish of the uh, members of the community, so uh, they still keep it. And uh, actually, in fact, um, many audience accept that way uh, of expressing in the film, and they they said that it's okay. It's okay when you keep the, the short clips like that because we also understand about the interviewees not only through the words that they say, but also through the image that we saw um, of their daily activity. Um, and also, um, the other advantage of, uh, of this kind of project is to, uh, it, it, is, it can be considered as a trustworthy uh, source for the policy makers. Um, because the opinion that, that we collect uh, from the uh, project uh, is a collective opinion. And it is discussed among uh, the um, community members. Uh, it's not the idea of only one uh, person. Uh, and um, also, it's, it is uh, audiovisual evidence for uh, policy reference because it is not only on the paper, it is images, it is the sound, it is the voice. Uh, so it is more convincing to uh, the policy maker. And there is also uh, challenges of uh, intangible cultural heritage safeguarding projects. Uh, uh, I, I would like to talk here about the balance between process and product the balance between the ideas of communities and those of researchers or filmmakers or curators, uh, and there are some other challenges. Uh, so usually we, t we, we say that if we have a good process, then we will have a good product, and a good product will reflect a good process. Uh, however, uh, it's not easy to, to keep the balance of this because uh, if we to pay attention to the product, uh, we want to make a good product to show to the public, then maybe we will forget the role of the community during the whole process. Uh, and if we too pay, to pay too much attention to the process, maybe we forget the, the, the quality of the product. Uh, so um, in order to have a balance between uh, the process and the product, we have to be very patient uh, and... and, and uh, to always consider all the aspects of, of the project during, during the process. Um, also, the, about the balance between the ideas of community and those of researchers or filmmakers or curators. Uh, uh, when we work in the traditional way, uh, we, um, it's rarely for us to, to care about the opinion of the, of the communities. Uh, however, in this kind of uh, project, uh, the researcher have to learn the way to respect the ideas of the community and learn the way to accept other ideas from the people. Even though, um, for some case, we, we, we think that the ideas of the community is not the same as us or is not meet our expectation, but um, uh, because the, the, the product is made uh, not only for the researcher, it is made also for the community. So uh, there is the need to, to uh, respect their ideas. And uh, about the challenge, uh, uh, other challenge of the, this kind of project, uh, there is a time, um, um, a matter of time, a budget, and also of uh, language. Because if we work with the local uh, communities, uh, there's also a an, an, an barrier of, uh, of the language. And usually we have to, to work uh, through the interpreter. Um, and in terms of time, it's also uh, um, a time of the researcher. Uh, we have to spend time, enough time for the community to build a, rela a good relationship with the communities, uh, um, and only based on the, the trust with the community, then we can um, we can have a good process of, of working with them. So I will I will run quickly to the conclusion. Uh, um, now museums are doing well in the researching to uh, enriching to many communities and bringing the community voice to the public and create the dialogue between the. Uh, communities and the public, and within many topics, the intangible 
cultural heritage safeguarding is a very important issue um, um, in the context of globalization and economic integration. Uh, and the, the very important things uh, that I noticed from, from this example is that uh, if uh, the uh, ICH safeguarding uh, project is done based on the uh, cooperation between museums and, uh, and the state and the government agencies, and if museums can receive investment from, uh, from the government, um, then it will help uh, the museum uh, to uh, work better on, on this field. And also, if there is a strong cooperation among museums in the museum network, uh, then I think that uh, um, uh, the ICS safeguarding uh, mission can, can be done uh, better in the future. And it seems that through uh, the example, example that I showed you here, uh, the VME has a cooperation with uh, the Junan institution and with also with the uh, GCA. Uh, and before we also uh, have a project, uh, have a program done with the um, Smithsonian Institution. Uh, so it seems that we, uh, we have the cooperation uh, already, uh, but how we can further the cooperation uh, in the future uh, when, when help us to uh, strengthen our role in the ICH safeguarding uh, programs. So thank you for your attention.